Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge and welcome back to the Universum, where I think the Nuggets are really enjoying modern life, I think they're having a lovely time of it. They've got little cars to drive around in, they all live in fancy modern residences now which is good, they've got electricity, I think they're having a wonderful time in the modern age. However, we do have a little bit of work to do to try to bring everything else up to modern age standards. From here we can see many upgrades that we have to get done, the bridge over there, that needs an upgrade, there's a police station here that needs to be upgraded, the defence towers, the wind turbines, there's a cement factory there, another wind turbine in the middle, the plank and brick places over here, and then down by the water, the water pumps need upgrading. There are many, many things that we need to get upgraded, and a lot of things need steel beams. And we are making steel beams over here somewhere. Where are you, steel beam factory? There we go. So that gigantic building there, that's making steel beams. And we've got, what have we got? 53 of those. That's not so bad. So we're okay at making steel beams. We're going to need a lot more than that to do all the upgrades. But that's okay. That's a decent amount. However... If we just pop over, say, to here and look at that wind turbine, as well as the steel beams and the cement, which we have, we also need electronics. And right now, we have entirely none of them whatsoever. So I think, to begin today, let's get an electronics factory in, shall we? And at least we can start making a few of those, and we can make a bit of a dent in the amount of things that we do need to get upgraded. The only thing is, where can we put an electronics factory? I imagine it's going to be very big. It's going to be quite a big thing. Let's go and take a look, shall we? So it will be under manufacturing and it's just there. Um, okay. Ah, yes, it is quite big. I don't... Oh, could it fit in that gap? Could it fit in that gap? Please tell me. <gasps> it can. It can fit in that gap. Oh, that's perfect. Uh, yes, absolutely. Put it just there. It'll annoy the neighbours, whatever. We've annoyed the neighbours so many times, it's just now not even worth mentioning. Yeah, carry on. It's fine. Okay, I didn't think we could fit it in over here. I thought it was going to have to sort of go over here in a new little area. But no, it can go over here. This is brilliant. Okay, that's very good. Um, Do we also need another engineer hut over here? Are we covered for engineers? Um, There is one there and there's one there. Is it worth putting one next to this new structure here? Just to make sure that... It doesn't fall apart. It might be. If we could fit it across the road, that would be really handy. But I don't think we can. That building's a bit too big. Unless, can it fit in that gap? Can it fit in that gap? I don't think it can. Nope, I don't think. Oh, it can. Just there. Boom. Yeah, put it just there, please. Yes, that retains the road and also fills up a bit of a space and gives us more engineers. Things can be you know, maintained a bit better, which is wonderful. Right. This is looking pretty good. The law enforcement just finished its final touches. Uh, ah, right, okay. So yes, one of the old style police stations. We have got a newer one. We have got a new one. There it is with its searchlight and its giant kind of police badge on the top. Um, oh, tertiary education is done. What does that give us? Remind me, game. What does that give us? Tertiary education. Scrolly scroll all the way over. That gives us universities. Okay. I don't think we're quite ready for that just yet. Uh, is that a school upgrade, though? Or is that a brand new building? Ah, that is a school upgrade. Okay, so that needs planks, glass, and steel beams. Okay, we could do that. Got loads of planks. Got a very, very huge supply of glass. That's massive. I didn't realize we had that much glass going on. And we've now got 59 steel beams. Is it worth potentially maybe upgrading all the schools to universities. And I assume they accept, you know, they teach all years when it's a university. They take the nuggets when they're little and they see them all the way through to when they graduate with degrees and honours and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, I think that's worth doing. Again, this is one of these weird things where you have this building here, which is a school, and then it goes straight through to a modern sort of university. I mean, I look at that and I think, Stone Age. That to me looks very Stone Age in that, you know, things are made out of stone. It looks very Stone age I would say. Um, it kind of needs, in my mind, a middle building. It needs a middle sort of medieval school, which isn't outdoors, you know, which does have a roof and chairs and things. It sort of lacks that middle structure. So some of the buildings do have kind of middle medieval structures, like the eatery look. The eatery kind of has a basic one, 
sort of a Stone Age one. Then it has this one. Okay, hang on a minute. Um, nuggets are less prone to injury. Hooray, well done, young, uh, Yunky Fess, who I assume is a, uh, a Fisher person. Um, yeah, that's fine. Good job, well done. Yeah, the E tree's kind of got a middle building. So it starts off a little bit like this with all stones, and it goes to that one, and then it'll become like a cafe or whatever in the modern age. I'm not quite sure, but it does have that there. But this one doesn't. It's a bit weird, really. But whatever the case, I think... If we find ourselves, hang on, go like that, and then find one of, pause time, because these can move around sometimes, uh, find a school. There we go. School. I don't think we have many schools. So if we upgrade all of them, that's going to be 20 planks. So yeah, we must have four schools. That's fine. Is it four? Or maybe five schools. Yeah, 25 steel beams. Yeah, it must be five schools. So 20 planks. That's fine. 60 glass. Absolutely fine. 25 steel beams is quite the investment of beams. But I think until we've got electronics on the go, we can't do anything else anyway. So, yeah, okay, do that, please. That's going to be good. The cement factory. Do we have many of those? Have we got two of those, possibly? Where is it? It's over there. Um, it might be worth upgrading these. That is only steel beams and glass. Okay, cement factories. Have we only got the one or two, maybe? If we go to upgrade all. 10 glass, 26 steel bits. So two of those. So again, okay, do that. Let's try and just sort of clear down the amount of things that we can upgrade with what we do have right now. Law enforcement building. Uh, planks and beams. Yep, yeah, okay. Get that done as well, please. So yeah, we're just going to use up all of our beams and many planks. But that's okay. And then I think the defense towers... They need electronics, so can't do that. The wind turbines definitely need electronics. And many beams. The water pumps also need electronics, I think, so we can't do that. I think, looking at... Oh, the forecast tower. Oh, what does that need? Uh, electronics? Okay, can't do that one either. And I think that's kind of it. I think that's it. Oh, the expedition cap and the bridge. The bridge is going to require many steel beams. Uh, we'll leave that for a while. And the expedition camp is cement, glass and beams. Okay, so we can do quite a chunk of stuff. But yeah, there's a lot of water pumps and wind turbines and everything else. And the stone refineries and all that kind of stuff. Okay, right. We're going to go through those steel beams very quickly. They are going to vanish very quickly. Ah, okay. We have over here an iron mine, which is running out of iron. There is 99 iron left in there. So once that's done, we'll get rid of that building. And I think as well, there was an oil thing over here, wasn't there, that we saw last time. That's only got 78 oil left in it. Okay, right. So again, when that runs out, we will have to get rid of it. A quick check down here at the temple. Do people like us or do they think we're a bit scary? Oh no, we're very, very loved right now. We're a happy, loving God, not a scary, terrifying God. Okay, that's pretty good. And... We're earning, what's that on the meat there? Maybe 20, just shy of 20, maybe 18, 19 creator points per minute, which is pretty good. That is ticking up quite quickly. That's going up very quickly. Could we do a few more little bits and bobs to try to get a few more people believing in us and just get a little bit of an increase to this? just because it's handy to have those things around in case we need them, in case we get attacked by UFOs or whatever, we can zap them out of the sky, or we can you know, cure a plague or whatever. There could be a way that we could get some more. Maybe what we could do is, maybe we could do, where's the, yeah, Jolt of Joy, look. Does that just affect, it affects like a group, doesn't it? So if we go like that and go, da-da, there we go, look. Um, yeah, people have started believing in us after our recent actions. So we do a little bit of investment with our points on making some people happy. There we go. Oh, that affected a huge amount of people. Good grief. Um, okay, that was good. That was very good. Um, how about you lot over here? There's a lot of people in the middle there. So again, we're just making people happy as well, which is never a bad thing. That's always a good thing. Um, okay, and then maybe what about not as many people over here? There's not as many people. Our settlement is massive now. <laughs> it's huge around here. Okay, make those people happy. Okay, 177. And we're down to below 500 points. But I'm okay with that. 178 now. If that can tick up a bit more, that would be quite good. I don't know if we can get it back over 200. Because, you know, it's the modern age and such like. That just fell down. Are we upgrading that? Ah, it's a cement factory. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> that was a bit concerning, just catching that out of the corner of my eye, thinking, hang on, what? Why has that fallen down? What's that just there? What's that? Reservoir. Oh, the Minister of Water must be doing that. That must be the Minister of Water doing those upgrades. Because, yeah, we haven't um, we haven't told them to do the reservoirs. I don't think we did. Did we do that last time? I don't think it was us. Um, right, okay, where's the... Um, Where's the new building? Here it is. Have we got what we need? Um, yes. Everything's here. Can we build it? Can we get building? Can someone come here and whack things with hammers, please? That's how we build things in games, isn't it? Hit things with hammers and such. Hang on a minute. Hang on. We've got ourselves an infected zone. Uh, oh, it's over here. It's over here. We often do have a few issues with the infected zone over here. Um, there isn't a graveyard, is there? Could we get one in? Could we put one in? Um, let's quickly grab you. We'll pick you up. Um, and um, we'll put you over here. Sorry, Nugget, that I just... <laughs> that was a bit mean thinking about it. I just scared a poor Nugget there with a um, with a, a flying corpse. Sorry, whoever that was. I do apologise. <laughs> I just couldn't resist going, Whoa. we're a nice god, really. Um, okay, and then can we get in a where is it cemetery what's that oh that's a university yeah because the icons change as well we still don't have the town hall upgraded oh no we've got one that's why we've got one of those and we've got one expedition okay that's why they're locked away again okay um out of interest what do we have a cloning center an airport i mean that's going to be exciting that's going to be very exciting. Given that we have got these amazing buildings, and they're not ours, but we've got other amazing buildings. I'm surprised we can't have an airport already, but okay, though. And a hyperloop. Zoom across your civilization with the hyperloop, a high speed tube that propels nuggets from point A to point B in mere seconds, making commuting a breeze. Oh, like in Futurama, the sort of the transport tube things. Oh, <laughs> that's going to be amazing. People just zipping about in tubes. Okay, that's going to be wonderful. Um, okay, cemetery. Can we fit one of those in over here? I think we can. Although, it's... Ah, no, it's not covered. That area is not covered. It could be. We could put one just here, look. It could snap to the road just there, and it would cover this bit over here. Do you know what? Yeah, put one in. Why not? Absolutely, yeah, get that in. That'll also cover over there, which I think was not covered by a cemetery before, which is going to be quite handy. Um, okay, right. Things are looking pretty good. What are we running out of? Steel beams, definitely running out of. Uh, oh, hang on a minute. The approaching fire. Oh, there's, there, there is a bit of a fire. Um, oh, it's next to... It's next to a university. Oh, hang on. We've, we've got a university already. They've, they've upgraded that already. That was quick. That was suspiciously quick. Had that been done before we told them to do it? These buildings over here look great. I love the modern buildings. Look at those. They look very good. We've got traffic lights going on. Um, yeah, I think maybe we might need to use some of our magic points here to possibly put that out before it sets fire to other buildings. Uh, yeah, can we do some rain on that, please? And also, if it could top that... Oh, no, that's fully topped up anyway. That's fully topped up. Yeah, we looked at that last time as well. How are we doing for water in these? Um, 76%, 75%. Okay, do a little bit more rain on here and a bit more rain on here just to sort of top that water back up because we don't want that to run out because that would be bad. We get a lot of stuff from here. We get our drinking water and fish from here. So that would be quite bad. So that's now up to 77, 78%. So ticking up. This one here is on 100%. We don't use, we don't take the water out, do we? We fish it a little bit, but we don't take the water out, which is okay. And then over here, do we have a water pump on this bit? Uh, one little water pump. It's on 99%. I don't think we need to worry about that too much right now. Um, okay, there may be a fire. Another fire? Um, I think... Did, did you not deal with the fire? You are a, a fire person. You're a fire officer. Where are you headed? Do you know something I don't? I'm now a bit suspicious. <laughs> do you know about a fire that we don't? I mean, yeah, it is your job. It's good if you do. Well, look, emergency services, police and fire. Need some paramedics around. That'd be good. Um, I might create some trees as well in a bit. How are we doing for oxygen? 
we've got 89%. So an okay amount, but we could do with a bit more. So possibly we could chuck a few more trees around. That'd be quite good. Is there a fire around here somewhere? Is there a fire? Oh, there really is. It's over there. Um, okay, hang on a minute. Trickle effect on that as well, please. Can you rain on that? There we go. Phew. <laughs> okay, that nugget, that nugget that told us that, well done. What have we got coming up? A blizzard. Right. The oil jack just got complete. Okay, yeah, we put another oil jack in, didn't we, over here to get some more oil. That was, yeah, that, that was the fiddly one, wasn't it? We had to knock down a building and get rid of the rubble and put that in. But now that's going to get us another almost 2,000 oil, which is pretty good. I imagine the other ones have nearly run out of their things. Um, I'm a little bit concerned in 47 seconds time there's going to be a blizzard. Does the blizzard affect everything? Um, ah, okay. That's now on 48 oil. That's not very much at all. And over here, they're on... 69 iron. Okay, so they're still going, but they are very, very much depleted. Also, that is a very fancy modern building. Look at that. That's very fancy pans. It's got a phone outside. Okay, a little kind of payphone type thing. Or is that, if you want to go inside, you have to use that and say, hello, can I go up to, you know, I'm here outside, and they buzz you in through the doors. I'm not quite sure. Got plants on the outside. Kind of got purpley, kind of uh, purpley lighting. And then at the top here, look, like a little sort of, what's that, penthouse balcony type thing with a pool. <laughs> a little pool and a parasol thing. And then, um, yeah, roof bit with fat cat cat restaurant. Okay. Right, I mean, we just learned that they've got cats. I hadn't realised that at all, but okie do. I, yeah, I like the modern buildings. The modern buildings are very good. Again, slightly weird contrast between modern building and then kind of wooden storehouse. Wanted? Who's wanted? For crimes against interdimensional space. Okay. <laughs> no idea who they are. Who could they possibly be? No idea. Uh, right, okay. Get time ticking on. I'm a bit concerned about the blizzard. We have got bunkers, so we could tell people to run for the bunkers if I can figure out how that works. Uh, oh, it's that button there, isn't it? Sound the alarm. Okay, so if we did that... Everybody can then start getting into bunkers. So let's cause all nuggets to drop what they're doing and take shelter in homes and bunkers. Okay, so let's check out. Hang on, put time on to slow speed, well, regular speed. Where is the blizzard? Okay, it's not a localised thing. It's everywhere. Because, yeah, the fires are localised things and yeah, the earthquakes happen in a specific area. But this is very much everywhere. Um, okay. Are people going to suffer? Um, okay. Uh, Netofest reports, I'm about to freeze in place. A blizzard has come. Okay. Sound the alarm. Everybody, hide. Get into bunkers. Go home. Oh, the screen. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to come across on a video, but everything, the screen is kind of freezing over. The screen is freezing over. Uh, okay. It's all gone very pale. We've got sort of like ice formations in the corners and it looks it looks bad it looks very bad okay uh, i imagine we've got 466 nuggets and 14 young nuggets is everyone at 465 okay hang on. one young nugget became an adult nugget in the blizzard a child of the blizzard can everybody just get home everybody get home safe why haven't you got a thing on your head you're going to repair oh the engineers don't stop the engineers have to keep going because, of course, I don't want buildings to fall down. Okay, this is quite bad. This is quite bad. Four, six, seven. Okay, people seem to be muddling through. Who are you guys? Um, you're a glass factory worker. I have sounded the alarm. Um, okay, the sun is... Oh, I think... Are we done? Are we done? The sun is coming up. I don't think we are done, because it still looks blizzardy. I imagine this has got to go away from the side. The, um, the firestorm took ages, didn't it? That took a long while to fade away. So I'm going to assume this is going to do the same. Although, I think we have a gla no, not glass factory, an electronics factory. There it is. Um, so yeah, we've got a patina, a baggins, an oaken shield, another patina, another patina. Okay, family business. Three patinas work there. And then an MATN, of course, because they're everywhere, like sand. Uh, oaken shield and baggins. So what do they do? They take 
iron, gas, and oil to make electronics. Okay, iron, we've got quite a lot of. I wouldn't mind getting another iron mine down, though, just to make sure that doesn't deplete too quickly. Gas is okay. Produced, though, 3.4. Consumed, 5.1. Okay, so we're going to go through gas. And then oil um, produced, 5.1. Consumed, 10.1. Okay, we need more gas and more oil and potentially a bit more iron just to make sure we don't run out. But I think that should be okay. And that makes a little tiny amount of electronics. Right. Okay. The resources are being delivered. So when the weather becomes a little bit less chilly and people are able to go outside again, when we, uh, you know, I know, sound the all clear, then, um, yeah, we'll try and get just a few more buildings in. Just get, is that done yet? No, not quite. So yeah, get another oil jack in, if we can, just to try and top that up and get another gas mine in. But um, right now, it's all just, it's all just very cold. Yeah, everyone's dropped everything, look. There's gas on the floor. People just literally, as it says up there, they dropped everything they were doing and they're running for shelter or home or whatever. Um, right, okay, let's just sit out the blizzard, shall we? Nip outside and make a few snowmen and have a few snowball fights and we shall come back when it's a bit less chilly. Right, the blizzard is gone. That's all sorted out. It's a bit weird that it didn't settle. When it's winter, everything goes white over. It's very, very snowy, but a blizzard didn't cause any snow to settle. A little bit weird, but okay, no. Uh, right, so unsound the alarm. Sound the all clear, please. Everybody, back out you go. Back out to work, back out into the relative safety of the world. And look, we can see people pouring out, look. You're going to school, you're going to go and do firefighting. In fact, you're going to get food first. Everybody is now back out and about doing some stuff, which is brilliant. Progress might slow down a little bit, I suppose. Maybe things will be a bit slow for a short while because, of course, people have got to get back to where they work and such like. So we might not see too much going on down here for a while, but at least that's all been sorted out. Right, what's going on with research? What have we done? So we've got Minister of Education. We'll put somebody into that post. Digital administration, the modern town hall. Okay, that might be worth getting. And then we can also now, with distribution logistics, I imagine um, whatever it's called, Jeff Nugzos, or whatever his name was, is involved in that somehow, uh, plus two worker slots in the courier huts. Okay, that's quite good. Um, yeah, let's nip over to the town hall. Let's get time moving on whilst we do this. So where is the town hall? Where is it? There we go. It's being sort of dwarfed now by slightly fancier buildings. So, um, yeah, okay. Town hall. We can upgrade that for the tiny amount of five cement and four glass. That's hardly anything. Uh, we can employ a Minister of Education. Do you know what? Let's do that. Who would like to be the Minister of Education? Somebody who possibly has been through education quite a while ago. I mean, yeah, you're only, you're only seven. Maybe someone who's you know, a little bit more experienced with the world. How about somebody who's, uh, I don't know, 15. Can we find somebody who's 15? Um, no. No, we cannot. We have to pick an educated nugget. Okay, there's a bit of a gulf that 20 you'll do. A Zumba geek. Uh, yeah, you. You can go into that job, please. You are now the Minister of Education. Well done. Good job. Um, I mean, yeah, we've only got the Minister of the Environment and the Minister of Space left, and that's it. Uh, let's get that upgraded. Upgrade that, please because that might give us new, exciting, fancy things that we can do. That could be quite fun. We have got 249 discovery points. A few people in the comments said you should always have a uh, sort of expedition thing going because it brings back lots of lots of discovery points. We've got 249 of them. Um, I mean, what do we need for these? That's 80 for nitroglycerin. Crikey's okay. So 80. Oh, no, plus... 20, hang on, 25 plus 50, that's 75, and 80 is 5 more than 75. Two 75s are 150, so 155 points to get those three things done. And then the next ones are all the way over here, and that's only another 100. So we're not that far off getting those done, and all that time we've got to research all this stuff. So I don't know, maybe we do need to get some a bit later on. There's many things over here, look, that require them. There's quite a lot at the end. Um, the Celestial Illumination Amplification, <laughs> of course. Obviously, that requires 50 discovery points. But again, I think we should be okay. I think we'll be fine. By the time we get there, all of our schools and theatres and everything else should have actually got all this sorted. 
Good grief, there are many over there. Right, okay, back to work, everybody. This is all very good. Let's tick time on nice and fast. Um, I think, yeah, we've got a decent summer, decent autumn, and then, yeah, back we go into winter. Oh, hang on, what have you been doing? You have been caught doing crimes. You. Um, which one are you? Quineba. Uh, Qu Quineba Phoenix. Being arrested. Ah, oh, dearie me. Never mind, never mind. You can, you can, yeah, repent. You can learn the errors of your ways over in the rehab center, which I realize I haven't looked at for a good long time. Is it still functioning? Is it okay? Um, we do only have the one relaxation room. Do we need another rehab center? Would another one of those be quite good? Um, oh, no, there's an empty room. There's an empty, I was going to say cell. It's not, it's rehab. There's an empty pa pad. <laughs> Should we call it a pad? It makes it sound nice. Um, but yeah, there's only one person in the relaxation room. But I don't think we can upgrade that just yet. Um, how are these doing? 33 now. And that one over here. Is it done? I assume it'll tell us. I assume we get a message in the corner saying, right, it's empty now. Um, okay, so that's all sorted. Let us now maybe look for a little bit more oil and a bit more gas, I think. So resource management. So where are we? So do the gas one first. So a gas mine. Where's going to be good for a gas mine? Potentially over here, if we can fit it in. Um, ah, okay. <laughs> That's unfortunate because there is a bridge in the way and also a park. And if we put it on there, it's going to ruin the road which we don't really want to do. The roads are quite good. Um, okay, anywhere else where this can go, uh, it could potentially go over here. That's 1,070 nuts. A thousand, oh, there's loads over there. And it's a bit near to them, but I don't think it's going to trouble them too much. 1,170 gas. Yeah, okay. We'll have a bit of that, thank you. And oil. Let's get another oil jack thing in as well, just to make sure. And another iron mine as well, just to really make sure. Um, 312, there's not that much over there. That's already underway. I've not finished that one yet. Oh, that might possibly help out a bit. Got one over there. One in here would be useful, but never mind. Um, I mean, could we put one over here, look? Could we put one there? Exile Settlement Territory. Botherations. Okay, maybe there, look, though. Uh, do they have a front? Is there a front to these? That's 934. That's not a small amount. That's okay. Uh, there's loads over there. One and a half thousand. Look at the oil we could have. Okay, where's our stuff? Where, where are we? We are... Uh, that's not... Here we go. Right, here we are. What about the other end of the settlement? There's nothing in the middle. Oh, what about over here? There's, there's 2,000. Can we must be able to fit one in over it? Please tell me we can fit one in. <laughs> we but There's 2,500 oil here. We're not letting that opportunity go. Um, it might crush this road, but that's okay. I'm, I'm willing to sacrifice a road for oil. 2,498 oil. Boom. In that goes. That road vanishes, but it was only the cemetery down there anyway, so it's not that bad. Um, I mean, yeah, can we get... Is there another gas mine location anywhere? Can we get some more of that if it's round here? Ooh, it's a little bit over here, maybe. But I don't think we can build on the side of that hill, which is a bit... Oh, there's one there already, look. Anywhere else? Uh, over here. Over here. That's another almost a thousand gas we can have if we can fit the thing in. Come on, game. <laughs> Let us fit the thing in there. I'm just going to tuck it around this corner and move it over. 990. Yeah, that'll do. Pop that in there. Right, so more gas is going to come in, which is good because we need a lot of it by the look of it. Uh, more oil is going to come in. We need more iron and potentially more bricks. We might need another little kind of brickery building. But... um. Okay, that's fun. Oh, the Cupidon Park. Did we build one of those? Oh, yeah, over here, look. Over in this kind of new bit. We're still trying to get all that done, are we? Um, have we got any electronics made yet? No. No, we have not. Oh, oil is the issue. We're waiting for oil. Okay, that's probably not great, is it? That's going to be an issue. I mean, when the oil's from here, that's going to be brilliant. Take it from here, put it straight in. That's going to be very helpful. Um, okay, so iron... Let's make sure we can get some iron. 
So you have iron mine. Any good sources of iron around here? Um, oh, here might not be so bad. Uh, oh, 100. That's, that's, that's not great, is it? They've got loads over there. That's 800 over there. Um, the other end of the bridge. Can we fit anything in over here? Uh, no, it's very cramped over there. No, not going to fit over there at all. That's a bit of a shame. Up on this hill, but we can't build on hills, sadly. Uh, over there. Again, we can't build on the hillside. Bit of a nuisance. Anywhere else? Any more for any more. Let's look over here. Look, there is a bit over here. If we could fit one in here, that'd be great, but we can't because it sticks into the water. I think we looked at that before ages ago, didn't we? Can't put one on there because of a hill. Although, although, actually, hang on, saying that, could we fit one in there? 944 iron. That is not a bad thing at all. Yeah, we shall have a bit of that. Thank you. So I think that'll sort us out. Maybe another brick thing. Because we are going through those. We are going through those quite a bit. We're going through many bricks. Uh, can we get ourselves a stone refinery? And these are all fancy and modern now. Uh, yeah, if we put it over here, look. I don't think we have any kind of stone refinery stuff happening over here. So if we could snap that building i mean to the road would be good there we go pop that there so get that in and that means we can just get some more stone well some more bricks on the go because we are we are struggling for bricks a little bit got quite a good amount of stone and a decent amount of wood but just lacking for actual bricks um i mean yeah do we need to get stone is going to come down isn't it do we need a stone mine do we need to do that resource management um, is, do we have a stone mine? Yeah, a stone mine. Can we get a stone mine on the go? Have we got one? Or are we just relying on stone that we pick up from the floor? <laughs> I'm not quite sure. I don't think we have a stone mine, do we? So this is just stone that we're picking up from the ground that we're finding in piles. Oh, oh, okay. I mean, if we could get one in, that would be quite good. Uh, there is 1,900 stone over here. Please tell me we can put that down. No. No game. Why would you do this? It's a mine. You don't build mines on flat things, game. <laughs> a mine can go anywhere. You can build a mine where it isn't flat. Game, no, don't tell me that. Okay, right. We can't put it over there then because the ground isn't flat enough for a mine. Because <laughs> everyone knows that mine's going to go on flat bits of ground. Um, that is... Uh, I'm confused as to where this is. But I don't think, again, for the same reasons, it's not flat enough. There's 3,000 stone around here that we just can't make use of. <laughs> no, that's just cruel. Um, oh, for some, it can go just there. Uh, uh, okay, John, I'm going to put it there. 4,204 stone can come out of a mine just there, please. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know why it can go there. That bit must be relatively flat i don't know okay whatever the case that's fine right so we should have a good amount of stone coming in and then eventually we can make more bricks we can get more iron more oil and more gas with various things we can then use the gas to make glass i think isn't it uh where is it is that the where's our thingy factory it's over here somewhere that's the gas mine the glass factory is just gas. Yeah, okay. So gas is tumbling down. We're using gas for many things now. But okay, so that'll help with that. Um, chemicals, we're not quite at that point yet. But we have now got four electronics. All of four electronics. Okay, and we are now stocking up again on steel beams, which is good. Right, okay. So I think then we will run time on quite a bit, trying to get all of that building work done that we've just outlined. Let's also help out over here a bit, shall we? Hang on, let's go to, uh, where are we? To trees, where are the trees? Which was the tree thing? Uh, not that one, that one, there. So if we go like that and just create, I uh, don't know, a massive load of trees over there like that, that's gonna be good. That's gonna make their lives a bit easier. Get some more wood and then we can stock up on planks. And then where else could do with some more trees? Over there, look. A little bit at the edge there. Let's just make some trees appear because why not? Somebody's gone through an infected zone. Stop going through infected zones. 
Um, where's that? Is that not covered by... Oh, okay. I thought that would be covered. I thought that would be covered by our cemetery person. Maybe they've just not got round to it yet. Are they coming this way? I think that might be them there. Uh, oh, no. Maybe not. I don't know. I thought that would be covered by our worker over here in the cemetery. I'm waiting for... Go oh, going for a body. Okay, where? Whereabouts are you? You're... I oh, know you're... Oh. Okay. You're taking a slightly circuitous route to the body, but okay. <laughs> Did a map. Where are you going? Go the right way. There we go. They're down here where the corpse is. Um, yeah, just here. Look. There. Yeah, there you go. Your pathing is bonkers. Okay, that's fine. Right. There we go. So they have been, the body has been collected and that cemetery is working. It's, they just took a slightly weird route. That's okay. That's fine. Um, a tattoo shop. Tattoos for the elderly. Really old school. Okay. <laughs> Who made these adverts? There's some bonkers adverts going on. That's quite nice on the top there. Little kind of rooftop terracey garden thing. Little pool and places to sit. That's quite nice. Plants. It's quite pretty. Another infected zone. Where's this infected zone? Um, uh, I don't know where it is. Where is the infected zone? I think it might have been tidied up. Uh, oh, here we go. Right, that oil jack has finally got a uh, rat of oil. Okay, so... I think we can get rid of it. How do we uh, How do we tear that down? Do we cl yeah, click to demolish? There's no point having it there anymore. So we'll get rid of it. Okay, so that's going to fall down. And we will salvage stuff from it. Let's salvage resources from it. That's what, three bricks, 11 irons, not nothing, and seven planks. Okay, so we'll try and get the bits out of that. That's going to be useful. And some final bits of oil as well. And then with that gone... I don't think it'll be that long until this then needs to be knocked down. That's only got 18 left. And that's going to come down a bit more, I think, because, yeah, this is working through. So that'll be done soon as well. Another person's been locked away. The crime level is very low. <laughs> Two criminals. And I think one of them is behind bars, which is good. Uh, yeah, happiness is very high and crime is very low. Things are looking pretty good. Um, in terms of research, we sort of discussed this last time, we're just going to hold off for a while. We're going to hold off on modern chemistry because that'll require a chemical factory and then we'll end up building a whole new thing and more production, all that kind of stuff. So I think we sort out what we've got now. We try and get lots of steel beams and lots of electronics and lots of gas and iron oil and everything else. Just try to sort of consolidate what we've got and then go and do some more research. Otherwise, I sort of feel like we're going to be rushing too far down the tech tree too quickly and we're not going to be able to keep up with all of our resources and everything else. I think that's what's going to happen. So, yeah, we'll just leave it a little while. It's OK. It's OK. Things are still going pretty well. Um, rehab centre. Given that we only do have two criminals and one of them is in the rehab centre, that's pretty good. So we're OK for that as well. And I think it's getting a bit wintry, isn't it? It's getting wintry because there is snow forming on the ground. Um, okay, yeah, so the, the electronics factory is doing something now. It is producing electronics every 50 seconds. It's not quick, is it? It's not quick. Uh, okay, right, but never mind. It's working. It's doing something. We've got 14 electronics now, which isn't too bad. Have we got a warehouse? Yeah, there's a warehouse. So yeah, in here, if we could store electronics... That'd be great. Just store it in there. It's fine. Get it all sorted. That's going to be good. Over here, the stone refinery is going in. That's pretty good. Um, okay, maybe then. Maybe over here. Oh, yep, winter definitely has arrived. We can get these two defense towers sorted out. We've got beams and we've got electronics now. So let's use a few. Our electronics are going back down. They're decreasing. I assume, oh, hungry wolves, I assume various ministers are applying upgrades on their own, which are requiring electronics. I assume that's what's happening, because we haven't told them to do upgrades. Um, like the reservoirs, do they require, do they require upgrades? I like how with the reservoirs as well, the, um, the, the screen gets a bit fancier, the kind of overlay for it gets fancier, the more sort of advanced it is. So when it was just essentially a giant glorified kind of a, a stone hole if you like a stone bucket it was fairly simple but now look you've got kind of the temperature of it all and amount of drinkable water and a turbine thing and it's great i mean can we 
Can we alter the temperatures? No, we can't. Okay. Um, yeah, I quite like that. Um, I was looking at something. What was I looking at? Oh, yeah, the ministers. Are the ministers doing upgrades on their own without us kind of getting involved? I think maybe that might be what's happening, which is why we can't do these upgrades. I would like to get the forecast tower upgrade, actually. Let's get that done. Um, but yeah, what else is being upgraded that requires electronics? I'm not quite sure. I don't know. Down here looks okay. Well, it looks fine down here. There's not much down here. Ah, the new, um, the new gas mine's gone in. That's quite good. Um, yeah, I don't know. But we did have 14 at one point, and now we only have six. So it is, yeah, they are being used up somewhere. I just don't know where. Uh, where's the other brick factory thing? Stone refinery. Um, can we get that upgraded, please? And I think we've got, what have we got? 36 beams. Do you know what? Get the wood refineries done as well. Just get the, get the issue, the, the order sort of issued. Work on that, please. Um, yeah, I, I assume that's what's happening. Oh, yeah, look. The cement factory. Did, oh, no, did we tell... I think we told them to do that. Maybe we said to do that. I can't remember now. We've issued out many commands, but I assume, yeah, that the uh, the ministers are doing things. Oh, um, hang on a minute. Yeah, the wolves. <laughs> the wolves are coming. Uh, I mean, they're going to have to go through Capital City. I feel like if they run through Capital City and don't eat the people in Capital City, that seems a little bit unfair. Um, okay, right, here we go. Let's get some magic power. Uh, we could, we could if we wanted to, do something a little bit different. I was going to hit them with lightning. I was going to do, no, that's the earthquake. There's the lightning. But could we potentially, where are we? Protective dome, rejuvenate. Well, there, tornado. It's 150 creator points. And I don't know if we can control it, actually. I was kind of thinking it might just be something that we can control, but maybe not. Um, okay, maybe then we could telekinesis a lot of the wolves all at once. Because we tend to do it one by one, don't we? So can we can we telekinesis many wolves? No. No, we can't. Ah, oh, bother. Okay, right, hang on a minute. Pause. So we're just going to fling that wolf to the floor. So boom. That's one dealt with. And then we're going to have to deploy the lightning. I thought maybe we could pick on many wolves, but no. Okay, boom, you're dead. And boom, you're dead. And boom, you're dead. Okay, many dead wolves. There are people over there in Capital City not even bothered. You're welcome, Capital City. <laughs> we just possibly saved you lot. Uh, okay, and then uh, let's... Uh, yeah, can we now do the thing? Can we now do this and pick all of these bodies up? Uh, it doesn't pick the bodies up. It picks up the food, but not the bodies. Okay, there is some food over here. Okay, right, we've got we've got food and trees now, I just, and and a and a animal corpse. <laughs> I just want um, I I was gonna put this in ah, no, we don't want to bury the animal corpse. Not bothered about that. Where can we put this? Uh, I don't want to throw trees at people though. That's a hunting place. <laughs> Am I gonna damage the building though? I, I just want to store the stuff. That's got food. We're just going to throw the trees in. Okay, I think... Did it cause damage? I don't think it caused damage. I think we're okay. Good. Okay, it's splendid. Right, there you go. The wolf problem dealt with. And... Oh, this is nearly... This is nearly gone, look. Let's wait for this to go, shall we? Put it onto super quick speed. And... Here we go, look. It's got a red thing above it. It's got three left. So I think... Is that what they're mining now? One bit of iron. Uh, two bits. Yeah, it's going to be gone in no time. It's going to be gone in no time. So, uh, okay, we'll hang around and wait for this thing to be emptied out, and then we shall demolish and scavenge the parts from that building. And there we go. Iron mine is depleted. That's a bit of a shame, but never mind. Right, so there we go. Absolutely destroy the iron mine, and then salvage the bits, because, yeah, seven bricks is seven bricks we wouldn't have normally. So there we go. Somebody go and do that. That building did just upgrade. Ah, a residential building. Um... Hang on, that looked modern anyway. Uh, oh, okay. Are they making it taller? Are they making it better? I'm not quite sure. Okay, that's being done. I do like how they've got the proper equipment. There's like a little cement mixer thing and everything. The cranes that move about. Um, one thing we didn't look at, what's that? Oh, it's stuff coming out the top of that building. Um, is the new village hall thingamajig up and running? 
Um, where are we? Uh, oh, there, yes. Oh, that's a bit posh. The town hall is now... I, mean, I don't know if it does anything. I don't know if it has any bearing on what it does. Does it do anything else extra? I'm not quite sure, but it looks good. It's got a pointy bit on the top. Very nice, very pointy. Um, yeah, and kind of fancy bits over the door and yeah, sort of air con outlet things and some trees and such like. Okay, lovely. Very nice. Yeah, I like that. That's quite fancy. That's all very good. Uh, okay, yep, good. Like the town hall. That's wonderful. Uh, right, go back over here to the evolution tower. I think you should click on the town hall to get the, um, to elect your leaders. Because surely that's where they would go, but okay. Uh, right, who have we got this time round? Nap time. Okay. E3 food production time increased by 30%. Hospital medication production time increased by 30%. So that's a bad thing. We don't want that. Scientific focus. Um, we're not going to do science for a while, I don't think. Uh, because we're kind of laying off that until we get all this sorted out down here and all the upgrades done. So I don't know if we're going to go for that. Um, or, oh, plus 10% oxygen. Yeah, we'll go for that again. Yeah, let's breathe a bit easier, shall we, with Yumzuba. So, uh, yeah, we'll go for Yumzuba as the leader, please. And we can get some more oxygen. We've only got 88 oxygen now. It's still fine, I think, until you get to... What's that, about 60% or something, possibly? I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure, but, yeah, it's, um, it's coming down a bit. Do we need to get even more trees? Can we just put trees anywhere? Doesn't necessarily have to be. Why is there a big load of blood on top of a hill? <laughs> what happened here? There's a dead fox. Okay, right you are. Um, yeah, can we put the um, can we put the trees anywhere? Just plop them anywhere around because it'll just possibly help with the oxygen level. I'm not entirely sure. I'm, I'm, we're gonna wait for winter to go away. We're gonna wait for winter to stop because I can't really see anything. Also, I think the um, the forecast tower is being upgraded because we can only tell what the weather is right now. So I assume it's been knocked down in readiness to be rebuilt as a different thing. Where is it? Or where was it? It's very hard to navigate around here when it's all like this and wintry. Where was it? It's around. Oh, there it is. It's the thing that's being upgraded. Ooh, I think it's finished. Oh, oh, that looks amazing. It's got big kind of spinny things on the top. Okay, so Quimboro Batina is working in there, and there are no approaching disasters. This is good news. That's very encouraging. And yeah, that's now sort of opening back up again. Right, that looks very good. That looks really good. Oh, there you go, look. The Ministry of Defence has placed a defence tower, but of course that's using up electronics, because the new ones will take electronics. Okay, that's what's happening to some of the electronics then. Okie doke, right. Never mind, that's all fine. That's all fine. Uh, let's go back over here then. We've got a few things to upgrade still. Uh, mostly wind turbines. But over here now, can we upgrade that? And can we upgrade that, please? There we go. So they can get upgraded. And do you know what? Do that one. And that water pump there can also be upgraded. There we go. I know it's not going to work now because it's cold. But we can you know, keep things ticking over with that. Um, yeah, 88 atmosphere. Right, let's head over to... Uh, yeah, we're going to wait for it to be stopping so snowy, actually, aren't we? So I can see the floor. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's wait for spring to roll around, which I don't think will be too long. And then we'll just find a big open space and put down a load of trees just to see if that does help with the oxygen levels a little bit. Ah, right, okay. So Yumzuba did win the election. So they're now going to add 10% oxygen because the Nuggets are going to breathe less. So now it's up to 98, which is good. But I was kind of hoping to maybe put some trees down to see if that would help. But okay, a thing's popped up. A powerful Nugget is requesting guidance for their next business venture. Their family made a fortune from their hand shoes invention an era or so ago. <laughs> hand shoes. Okay, so they certainly have the capital to get things off the ground. They intend to enter the fast food industry, which has become a big hit due to the busy lives of modern nuggets, but make it a little more appealing by calling it artisanal fast food. That's how you said that word, isn't it? However, if they do not know if they should create healthier food and drink, which is hard to produce, or fill nuggets up with empty fatty calories. No, healthy 
We want healthy stuff. We want the nuggets to live long and prosper. Um, look, that looks quite nice as well on that side. That looks quite nice. Like a nice sort of... Uh, I mean, that looks okay as well. That has its time and a place. Burger and fries and onion rings and a nice fizzy drink. That's got its place. But if we can choose, that looks delicious. That thing there looks good. Like, uh, is it noodles or something? Or something in soup? I'm not quite sure. But And that looks like like a sushi type thing. Um, go healthy. The lives of my nuggets are more important. Yeah, absolutely. Let's do that. Stick to shoes. Leave the food industry alone. No, let's go healthy. Nuggets consume 50% more food and water. Nuggets live 10 years longer. Ah, okay. 50% more food and water could potentially be an issue. Is that going to last forever? Is that now a permanent feature? Right. Okay. <laughs> Um, the Nuggets are now going to drink a lot more water, uh, and eat a lot more food. We have got quite a lot of cooked food anyway, so it's possibly not so bad. Um, over there looks quite empty, look. Over there looks fairly empty. Uh, trees! Whereabouts are you? Trees, 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 trees. There we go. So, forestation. So, 98. So, if we just went 200 our creator points, boom, create a load of trees, they'll then rise out of the ground... It went to 99. Okay, so we can try and sort that balance out of it. So if we just plant some more, is that going to help? The trees will rise out the ground. Uh, Civilization is not researching anything. We know. We know. It's fine. We're aware of this. It's all good. Create a few over here. Look, don't we use all of our creator points up because we need to keep some for emergencies. It's on 99. Can we just get a few more in? Is that our building? No. No, this is... I'm a bit concerned about Capital City. They've got a building with a helipad thing on it. <laughs> we haven't got that. We haven't got helipad things. Uh, 99 still. I know, what about putting some trees in there? Might be quite fun. Oh, hang on. I've done that wrong. Put some in there. A little gap there. Look, boop. There you go. Tiny amount. 100. Right. Okay. So, yeah, we are able to adjust the oxygen levels a little bit ourselves just by putting down more trees, which makes perfect sense, of course. Uh, right, okay, wonderful. How are we doing for upgrades? Still got many things to do, but even though we've issued out quite a few upgrades, we still do have 16 beams and 9 electronics. So we could potentially get a few more things done. Uh, here we go. Let's have a look, actually, at uh, one of the defence towers, because that's being upgraded right now, unless the other one is already done. There were a few, weren't there? Where's the other one? I'm not quite sure. There was an... Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, okay. So they're like, sort of, uh, they look a bit like some traffic control tower things. But okay, right. So they're being upgraded. Uh, okay, how about then, over here, we upgrade two wind turbines. Let's get those upgraded then, because they're quite near to the resources that they need to be sort of upgraded. They're near to the beams and the electronics. Oh, so, yeah, let's work on those two. Let's see what they look like when they're upgraded. There's a water pump over here about ready to be upgraded, and it is upgraded. There we go. So that's what the new water pumps look like, which is going to be handy because, yes, we need to get more water now because the nuggets are going to be drinking and eating a bit more. Although I think stored drinking water is on 560 maximum, and it's on 340-ish right now. So it's not so bad. It's not so bad. And food has come down a bit because people are eating more. But I still think it should be okay. Maybe we could get in another eatery over... Is that an eatery? That's a hospital. That's oh, There's an eatery there, though. Another eatery would probably be quite helpful. Um, where are... They always forget where these things are. Um, oh, yeah, we can get kinetic generators now, can't we? We got given those last time. I don't think we will. I've got plenty of power coming in from... Okay, we're, we're not making enough power. Okay, we haven't got plenty of power coming in. Very soon when these are upgraded, they'll be quite good. Um, yeah, where's the eatery? Just there. So there's one there, one there. Where else can we put an eatery? Where can we put one of these? There's one over there, one over here, and this kind of bit. Uh, there's quite a few dotted around over here. Is there room for just, just one more? Just a little place where people can go and have a bite to eat. Have we got room? Oh, hang on, over here, look. We could put two next to each other. That's not a bad thing. I don't mind that. In the space where that, um, the 
whatever it was, the stone mine thing was. I think that just, hang on, that just blatted a road out of existence. Now cancel that, put the road back in. Get rid of that. I didn't want that. The road, the road was, I thought I'd snapped it to the edge. I thought I'd snapped it properly. Clearly I did not. Um, like that, look. Yeah, put it in. Yeah, there we go. Like that. It put it in at an angle, I think. Maybe I misclicked or whatever. I don't know. But another one there. And then, can we fit another one in anywhere else? Over here, possibly? It'd be quite good if we could, just to get some more food on the go. We've got loads of raw food. So if we could get some more actual sort of you know, processed food, that would be quite good. I don't think we can quite fit one in over here, look. Oh, yes, we can. We could just then... There was a bit where it worked. Game, game, show me. <laughs> there, look. There. Perfect. Yes, yeah, like a waterside diner. That's quite nice. Yeah, we'll have one of those, please. Um, how are we looking for batteries and things? That's looking... Yeah, got plenty of battery storage power. And, I mean, yeah, water. We are getting close to our water limit. So, possibly... Do you know what? Let's help out the Minister of Water a little bit and just put a reservoir around here somewhere, but where it's going to be efficient, because that was going to be not efficient. Um, can we fit one into this gap? Not without ruining the road, unfortunately. I'll have it over here, look. Over there will do. 100% efficiency. Yeah, boop. There we go. So get one of those in, just to saw some more of that. Right, wonderful. Quite happy with how things are. 390 discovery points now. They're flying up and we're not doing anything with them. However, over here, look, we can see the wind turbines being upgraded. That one is being worked on and is, what, 15% through? That one's 63% through. Okay, right, let's run time on and see what the new wind turbines look like. Fully upgraded. Let's look at modern wind turbines. And they are done, and they look wonderful. Look at those. They look very, very futuristic. They look a little bit more fancy and futuristic than the ones we have in, you know, the real world, in our world. But I suppose, you know, this isn't supposed to represent that, is it? This is the world of the Nuggets. This is Planet T. That's what they look like on Planet T. So there we go. Two of those are done. Hopefully... That will help us generate a little bit more power, which is going to be good. And I think we are now about ready. We've got 25 electronics and 14 beams. I think now we can just click the button for these. So, right, the defence towers. Let's get, in fact, no, the wind turbines. Do them first. 26 cement. I think we're okay for the air. 414 cement, 104 steel beams, not quite got that. 26 electronics, not too far off. But we're going to press OK and get all of those done. That can be job number one, get those done. And whilst we're here, let's nip over to the neighbours and maybe do some trading. They've got electronics for sale. That could be quite handy. Just get a massive stock of electronics. They've also got plastic and various other bits and bobs. But yeah, what would we like? What do you want for electronics? For 10 of those, would you like some glass? We've got quite a lot of glass. What if we gave you 75 glass? Okay, you're really happy with that. So how much can we get for that? If we just keep clicking up on electronics, we could potentially get 30 electronics for 75 glass. What if we gave you 100 glass? Can we stock up on more electronics? Just to make life a bit easier, we can get 45 maybe, and then a little bit of reputation boost with them. Although that's not going to be worth anything because then they're just gonna they're just gonna go back down again when we build a thing near them. So let's try and balance it out as much as we can. So there we are. We can get 51 electronics from them. That's probably worth doing. Yeah, do that trade. That's gonna be very good. So do that, 76 electronics. That will come tumbling down. Uh, so that's, is, was that Capital City? Oh, uh, Carinaville. That was Carinaville. Uh, okay, right, nip over here to Capital City. They're quite near to each other now. <laughs> There's our cemetery on this side, um, which I, I, did, I didn't realise we built that there. But okay, got a cemetery there as well now, yay. Um, but yeah, so uh, we've got, yeah, Carinaville is pretty close to capital city over here but okay right can we trade with you guys what have you got um ah okay 
not that much that we're that interested. I suppose oil would be useful-ish, but maybe we keep our stuff. Let's keep our own resources, shall we? Okay, so uh, nothing from those guys. Unless we just pick up some plastic just for fun. Would you like some glass? Uh, we'll give you... We'll give you 25 glass. How much plastic can we get for that? How much? We can get 12. Okay, Joe, we'll have 12 plastic. There you go. Why not? Bit of fun there. There we go. We've got 12 plastic now. Yay. And then the other people. Where's Loveland? Loveland? <laughs> I can never remember where Loveland is. It's it's around here somewhere, folks. Big, exciting, shiny city. There we go. Hello, Loveland. Um, you guys like us quite a bit, to be fair. So if we do another trade with you, I think that's going to go up even more. And we're going to be quite good buddies. Um, what can we get from you? Ooh, steel beams. We'll have all of them, please. Give us your 35 steel beams, Loveland. Uh, we'll have all of those, because that's going to help. We've only got eight of them right now. Um, and fuel? We haven't got any fuel right now, but we're going to need fuel at some point, I suppose. So maybe just grab... Uh, grab... I don't know. Why not grab 15 fuel for fun? And grab some plastic as well. Again, just because we can. Um, got plenty of bricks now, which is good. Right, okay. What would you like for that, then? What would you like? Would you like some planks? What if we gave you 75 planks? Is that good? Okay, not great. What if we gave you uh, 250 food? Okay, we're getting there. I'm okay with the food. The food is still pretty good. I'm okay with that. Um, and what if we gave you some iron? Can we give you a big amount of iron? What if we gave you 75 iron? That's not quite enough. We have got a lot of iron though. So hang on. What if we gave you 100 iron? It's just about the amount that you want to give us. Okay, so what else can we get out of you? Oh. Okay, that is on the balance. That's it. Okay, do you know what? Yes, we will do that. So we'll get some more steel beams. Okay, looks like we need another oil jack to go in because we're not quite producing enough oil. We're producing about 10.3. That keeps changing a bit. And we're using 12.7. So we do need another tiny little boost to oil. Where can we get that from? Where can we get that from? So oil jack is there. We've already got one over there in the middle of that, grabbing a lot of oil. That's quite handy. Um, there's nothing over here. That one is exploiting that bit over there. That's over there looking pretty good. We can't really build over there because that's part of the exile settlement. Um, over there is just out in the middle of nowhere. I mean, over there is pretty good, but we don't live over there. So we can't really do that. Let's go back to where we are. Um, where are we? We're over here. Uh, there's a bit here. Yeah, there's not much though, is there? It's only 300 and something and we can't get in there properly because that's exile territory botherations. Um, oh, okay. We might not have a good location for it. We might not have a good spot at all. Are we going to have to try and move into a new area possibly? We might have to think about that. Uh, there's a bit over here. No, that's going to be nothing at all. Yeah, nothing over there. I mean, over here is pretty good. But yeah, we don't live over there. We don't live over here. So we'd have to move out here, which is quite far away from everything else. So that would require quite a lot of building work. We need, like, firefighter huts and engineers and everything else, which, given that we're trying to do all the other upgrades, that's just going to detract from that, isn't it? So I don't know if we can do this right now. I'm not entirely sure it's going to work. No, I don't think it is. Over there would be okay. But I think it's under their bubble. Where's their sort of bubble? Yeah, so we'd have to put it here. And it's only 312. I suppose, you know, 312 more than zero. That's 312 oil that we can use for something. Do you know what? Why not? Yeah, we'll put it there for now. Annoy them a little bit, but that's okay. They're completely used to it. And um, yeah, more wind turbines are being upgraded. We can sort of see them around the place as time ticks by. Taking a while, I'll be honest. It's taking a while to get these things in, to move the beams and the electronics and everything else around. But they are getting there. Slowly but surely, we are seeing a few new turbines popping up around the settlement. There are two very good advertising hoardings on these buildings over here. This one here says, Weekly Farmer's Market. Eat your gosh darn veggies, you animals. Absolutely, get your five a day. And that sign over there says, We're not a cult, we're family. 
join today. And then there's a picture down here of a Nugget wearing a slightly dubious, almost cult-esque mask and holding some sort of culty dagger. So, yeah, I'm not entirely convinced by that sign, but, you know, there you go. They've put the advert to maybe they'll get a few people to join their uh, family. Okay, winter's gone, spring has sprung, and we do have, at the end of the summer, a locust disaster approaching. That doesn't sound very good. I don't know if we can do anything about that. Can we stop locusts? Can we hit them with lightning? That might take quite a lot of lightning bolts. Locusts are very teeny tiny. I'm not quite sure if we can affect the locusts in any way. So I assume what will happen is the locusts will come along and eat the food. They will go for the farms and everything else and they will decimate the food supply, which could be a little bit of a bother. That could be an issue. So a little way to go until that happens but that is going to come round soon enough. Um, also, lots of wind turbines now. Everything looking very modern and wind turbine-y. There's two there, there's two there. There's some off in the distance. Look, looking very good. They've stopped turbining for some reason. Okay, I assume it's not very windy anymore. We're producing no power at all. Oh, there you go. And then back up to 1,300. So when they're spinning, they generate loads of power. So much power. We are charging those batteries up very, very good indeed. But uh, yeah, obviously when the wind stops it's not quite so good. So we just have to kind of keep an eye on that. But at the minute, we're producing a lot of extra power to top up the batteries. So even if the wind does die down for a bit, we should be okay. We should be fine. Uh, oh, okay. I didn't know there was going to be a new leader. A new law is in force. Nuggets pay attention more toward the medicine. Decreases medicine preparation time by 90%. Oh, okay. That's quite good. Uh, you've got a chef's hat on. Very good. Yeah, okay, that's good. We're all happy, so we don't do the party thing. Um, that there is looking like it's going to run out soon enough, but okay, we'll get told about that. And I think, yeah, there's a lot of wind turbines that have been upgraded. I don't know if we've completed them all. I'm not entirely sure. Um, we've got those over there. There's one over here, look, that hasn't been done. That's waiting for one steel beam. We are struggling for the beams, but I think it's okay. So that, that'll that be done soon-ish, I would have thought. I can't see many more around in terms of wind turbines. So I think we're okay. I think we're okay. So I think then, if we're done for wind turbines, let's maybe look at issuing the upgrade orders for everything else, apart from maybe the bridge. The bridge is a massive part of steel beams. And then we can wrap things up. So... If we went to, say, the defence towers, what was that? 27 steel beams and 18 electronics. Fine for the electronics, steel beams struggling, but okay. So yes, please, do that. And then the water pumps. Okay, so 72 glass, got loads of that. 27 beams, not quite got that. 18 electronics. Okay, so by the time, maybe, that they've got all the glass over to the water pumps and the electronics, maybe by that point... We will have had time to make a lot of steel beams. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. So, okay, issue that as well. Uh, and then we've got the expedition camp and the bridge. Um, okay, expedition camp was... That's quite a lot of beams. Okay, we we'll, we'll, won't do that for now. We'll leave that for now. Something is happening over here. These buildings are getting bigger. They're upgrading their little buildings to make them bigger to fit more people in. I am not quite sure, but okay. But I think... With those kind of final upgrade orders in, we will finish things up for now and we'll come back next time. We'll get those final few bits done and then I think we can do some more research. In fact, you know, let's queue up the next bit anyway. So we'll do modern chemistry next and then we'll see where we go from there. What's that? Phlogiston theory. I don't know what that is. Oh, sort of like fire stuff. Oh, modern fire stations. They might be quite good. That might be quite good, given that we have modern buildings and modern industry, a modern fire station might be quite handy. Okay, we get that. That is another worker slot in the fire station. Plastics, okay, so we're going to have plastic factories and then fuel factories. Okay, so the age of kind of industry is arriving. All these kind of things here, factories everywhere. We've got glass factories and chemical factories coming up now. Plastic factories, fuel factories. That is a cloning centre. Okay. Right, that could be good. It could be slightly terrifying. And then, yeah, there's a whole bit down here, look, of research that doesn't lead anywhere. It kind of leads down here and then just kind of ends. So what's that? Modern warehousing, modern curry hurts, modern kinetic generators, modern garages, modern oil jars. Oh, so many upgrades. We are going to be doing so many upgrades. And I imagine a lot of them are going to be requiring steel beams. 
it might be worth building another steel beam factory somewhere. I'm not quite sure where. We might need to do another kind of big building project thing. We might need to pick a new area to move into and then just kind of set up a whole new thing. Like we did over here, look, with the sort of you know, an eatery and the engineer huts and fire and defence and everything else. We might need to do that again. Possibly over here. Could we? Could we get a little bridge? Going from there to there to stop people walking all the way around. Maybe a bridge to here and then build over in this bit. Maybe that'd be quite good. It's not near anybody else. So we're not going to get the nagging, oh, you're annoying the neighbours message. So over there might be quite good. We could always move into this bit, although it's a little bit sort of hemmed in on both sides by the mountainy stuff. Um, oh, there's Loveland. Hey, Loveland, how are you guys? Um, yeah, maybe that's what we do. We come over here then and start working on this bit and then get in all of those factories. Get in the chemical factories and everything else, another steel beam factory, all that kind of stuff. Try and fit that in around here somewhere. That might be where we go next time. And also spot a research. And then just everything else. Just you know, keep things ticking over. Make sure the nuggets are all happy. And oh yeah, deal with some locusts. Not quite sure how we deal with that, but we will find out when we come back next time. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in the universe. Sim. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I'll see you next time. I've kind of built a very horrific kind of lounge. <laughs> wow. I mean, if that's not going to give you a headache, I don't know what will. It's the balcony of doom at the minute. We've now got ourselves the jungle room room, the pink room, and the teapot's tip-top suite. That actually makes my eyes go a bit funny. Should we have that one? <laughs> oh, that is completely perfect and dreadful.